What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve absolute value inequalities. And in case you need a refresher on inequalities and the symbols and everything, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But if you're good, we're just going to jump into the examples. Okay, so the symbols we're going to be using for this video are going to be the greater than symbol, the less than symbol, and the equal to symbol. Okay, so let's start with this example right here. Let's say we wanted to compare the absolute value of negative 5 and the absolute value of negative 3. But I'm also going to put a negative sign out here in front. Okay, so how can we simplify these? Well, let's start with negative 5. What's the absolute value of negative 5? Well, this negative sign basically just goes away and all we're left with is 5, right? So the absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. All right, so what's the absolute value right here of negative 3? Well, again, the negative sign basically just goes away and we're just left with 3. But as you can see, this negative sign is outside of these absolute value bars. So this negative sign doesn't just go away. We keep it. Okay, so now the two numbers we're comparing are 5 and negative 3. So which of these three inequality symbols am I going to use to compare these two numbers? Well, a little trick I would always use to remember which way they're supposed to face. So these symbols always looked like mouths to me. So I would just draw little teeth on them. And then I would tell myself I want to eat the bigger number. Okay, so think of these as like Pac-Man teeth or dinosaur teeth, whatever. And then you want to eat the bigger number. So if I have these two numbers here, 5 and negative 3, which number is bigger? Well, 5 is a bigger number than negative 3, right? So I want to eat the bigger number. So I'm going to make the mouth face this way, right? And I can even draw the teeth on there just to remind myself I want to eat the bigger number. Okay, great. So now I know my symbol right here is facing the correct direction because it's eating the bigger number. So the last step would just be reading this. So how would you read this? Well, just like when you're reading books or sentences, words, you always read left to right. So with this, it's no different. We're going to read this left to right, okay? So I'm going to start on the left side, and then I'm going to read it going that way. So I'm going to say 5 is greater than negative 3. Okay, and that would be your answer. All right, let's try a few more. Okay, now let's say we wanted to compare the absolute value of 18 and the absolute value of negative 18. And this time, I'm going to put a negative sign in front of this one, okay? So how would we compare these two? Well, let's just start with what we know, okay? So what's the absolute value of negative 18 right here? Well, this negative sign basically goes away, right? So all we're left with is 18. So that was the easy one to figure out. What about this one? How would we solve this one? Well, what's the absolute value of 18? Well, that's just 18, right? But we have this negative sign out here in front. So since this negative sign is not inside or in between these absolute value bars, it doesn't just go away, right? So we keep it. So now the two numbers we're going to compare are negative 18 and 18. So which number is bigger? Well, 18 is bigger, right? So remember, I want to eat the bigger number. So that means I'm going to make my mouth face this way. And you can even draw the little teeth on there to remind yourself. Okay, so now I know my sign is facing the correct way, right? Because we're eating the bigger number. So the last part would just be reading our answer. And again, we read it left to right, okay? So that means we always start on this side. And then we read it going that way. So we're going to read this as negative 18 is less than 18, okay? So that would be your answer. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, now let's say the two values we wanted to compare were the number negative 9 and the absolute value of negative 9. But I'm going to put a negative sign out here in front. So how would we compare these two? Well, negative 9 is just a number, right? I didn't put any absolute value bars on it or anything. So this is as simplified as we can get this, okay? So I'll just rewrite it down here one more time. But how can we simplify this one over here? 
Well, let's just start with what we know. What's the absolute value of negative 9? Well, remember this negative sign inside of these absolute value bars basically just goes away, right? So the absolute value of negative 9 is just 9. But again, remember, we have this negative sign outside of the absolute value bars. So it doesn't just disappear like this one did, right? So we keep it. Okay, so now the two numbers we're comparing are negative 9 and negative 9. So which symbol up here am I going to use? Well, remember, I want to eat the bigger number. So which number is bigger, negative 9 or negative 9? Well, actually, in this case, they're the exact same number, right? So since they're the exact same number, we're going to use the equal to symbol. So we're going to draw our equal symbol right there. And remember, we always read these left to right. So we're going to say negative 9 is equal to negative 9, and that'd be your answer. All right, guys, so that's how you solve absolute value inequalities. I hope the examples were helpful. If they were, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.